Hi guys, and welcome back to Rimworld Cat World, and we're here with Snow and Binks, and they're just busy building away. Now I did do a stream on this a couple of weeks ago now, and if you haven't had time to go back and watch it, or you don't have time to go back and watch it, let me give you a little bit of a breakdown. After they escaped from the massive raid at Buchanan's secret lab, the guys have found themselves on this map. And as you can see, it's quite a barren map. There's not a lot of stuff and things on it at all. Um, a bit closer in here. Give off that a second. We do have little bits of steel, little bits of compact machinery, but there's absolutely not a lot of it at all. But we had to be very, very careful on how we mine the resources. Now, the issue with that is now these guys are speeders. And including in that is they have awful melee, awful artistic, and awful mining. And as you can see here, that gives you an absolute zero skill. There's a zero skill in mining. So we really don't want these guys to be doing any mining at all. Oh, he's got a hedgehog, bless him. Because <laughs> what would happen with a zero skill is we can mine, but we'll lose more resources than we actually gain. And with resources being very, very scarce on this map, we are um, struggling a little bit and it's becoming a huge problem. So how are we going to get past this? Well, one thing we're going to have to do is hope that we're going to get some visitors to the colony and kind of visitors that want to come and stay with us for a short period of time and hope that they have good mining skills. Because that at the moment is the only way we're going to get around it. We have demolished some of the like steel wall old ruin buildings and it's given us a little bit of steel so that we can build our research desk etc but apart from that we're kind of stuck until we get some visitors okay here's a little breakdown of what we've built so far uh we've got our butcher's table outside making kibble for the animals we've got a little bit of storage we do have a well we have a little toilet and bath and we have two little rooms built already one for binks and one for snare we do of course have our little kitty cats that we've rescued as well they're busy busy cleaning away we managed to get our st uh, a stove in stone cutting table middle of building this research desk but as i said steel we're going to have a problem with the steel we managed to get a couple of yaks a couple of turkeys and a hen I don't know where the head came from. I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, we do have a little bit of a garden. We do have our little anima tree here that we're doing a little bit of meditation. And we've got some stuff and things growing outside for food. So we're not doing too bad. Oh, look, the hens. Oh, we're going to get lots of eggs and lots of milk. Lots and lots of stuff to feed the kitty cats with. So we're not doing too bad at all. We just need some visitors. So... With that in mind, let's build a visitor room. Okay, so that research bench is nearly finished. And to the left hand side here, you can see I've mapped out where the visitor room is going to be. So we're going to have like, the little bathrooms backing onto each other and the visitors can come into this area here. And this will be just for visitors. We will eventually, of course, build uh, a wall all the way around our base as well. And we're going to have like separate little buildings rather than one big base. Um, yeah, I think that should work out rather well. Now, one thing, one of the mods I'm using is Dub's Bad Hygiene. As you can see here, we've got some fecal sludge. Lovely. So I'm going to mark that for hauling urgently. And we should bring it out here and pop it into here, burn it. And we can also burn lots of different things like apparel and guns and things and stuff we don't want and also bodies. So that should be awful. Okay. Not awful. Awesome. Quest available, a tired traveller. A desperate refugee named Massey is approaching. Massey claims to have been banished after an argument with the village leader. Begs you to permission to stay at Cat Haven for five days. This is what we've been looking for. Come on in, dude. Let's put that bed up for you straight away in here. Um, install. We're just going to install it in here for now. And then once the room is made, he should be... Uh... Please tell me you can mine. Please tell me you can mine. Please, 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 please. No! No, you can't mine! Bugger! 
Okay, our research desk is now finished. So let's set off some research. Ooh, do 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 do. Let me have a look. See, carpet breaking smith and noble apparel. I think uh, because we have tinder skin, we're gonna go straight in with the fire foam and research that. That is probably the best idea for now. Uh, also, with our new visitor Massey, <laughs> who can't mine, <laughs> I've just set him on to do some hauling and some crafting so hopefully he's going to be doing our granite block so if we unsuspend that now he should crack on with that um apart from that let's put him on unrestricted like the boys as well so he can go and do that so we should be getting some more blocks made so maybe we'll to finish this off okay we just had some cows join i wonder how many we've got let me have a look go see uh two are they both female female cow and a bull awesome let's get those roped up immediately uh wow our planet's getting really really full now isn't it and one of our yaks has just given birth as well we've got a baby yak down here and he's a male so we're gonna have to butcher that one we're not gonna be short of uh, milk are we <laughs> good job i know you should give them in real life guys but this is just a game and yeah, the cats can have milk in a game, I'm pretty sure they can. Our little construction is coming along nicely now. We're getting lots of little blocks being made. We've got granite, granite, limestone and sandstone. We really need to get onto that uh, marble as well. So I might just... Ah, we've got the hundred. Yeah, make the marble now, dude. Come on, crack on. We need to get this little room finished. Okay, this has all been finished and roofed. So what we're going to do now is just check on our stone blocks. And we seem to have a lot of granite at the moment. It's not very beautiful, but it's okay to use it in like places like prisoners and visitors rooms. Uh, so we've got a floor, we're gonna do a fine granite in here for the bathroom. We're just gonna have like a normal wood floor in here for now like that and in there now what i'm also going to do is we're going to get a granite flags granite flags or sandstone maybe there's a bit of sandstone in here um structures column mm, the wooden column just there and there and then what we can do is roof that like here out there the reason we have two tiles around our buildings guys it's a fire block that is the reason we do that a nice little fire block because no plants should be growing underneath the roof part uh Altex. oops and then what we're going to do when this is all built out is going to move um like our butcher's table and stuff and things under there so it's a dry area and that is what we're cracking on with and we're starting to get organized guys we have now moved all the storage into here with our butcher's block and our zone for the uh, animal carcasses we just need to get this little bit cleaned up hopefully and all these bits and pieces moved along we now have just about all the floors and apart from one tile in here so we can start moving around um, our stuff and things like our guest bed so we can reinstall that one over here now uh, i'm also going to move this one over here we will build some furniture there eventually and we'll, like another table and stuff in there we'll get it all fitted out but for now let's just uh build copy there it is i don't know why i couldn't see that then that was crazy and build cop copy of that coddy copy oh my god i can't speak today guys I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> we got all the cable and stuff and things. And uh, yeah. So this is for guests and this is for private. So we're going to put take off. Oh, sorry. Guests and slaves can't go in there. But this one they can do. So hopefully our guests will start using um, Binks and Snow's facilities. <laughs> The next thing we have to start thinking about is extending this animal pen and uh, making a little place where they can shelter. So the first thing we're going to do 
is extend this fence out like this and once that is built we can chop down that and then we're going to put in an element flat what do we have here uh 22 wolf skin 28 light leather so we've got an animal flap takes 25 so we're gonna go for light leather uh have an animal flap there we'll keep this wall board no we don't want that we just want normal wall please normal wooden wall like that but in here is going to become a nice little bedroom for them and then zone growing zone we'll try and grow some more grass out here i'll just make sure we've got like hay grass growing so we want hay grass hay grass there we go so as soon as this fence is built we can get rid of this one and let our animals we'll get some hay we'll put some nice hay down in there etc and then just start thinking about building the next thing we have had a transport crash and we've got to mail age 20 is at yatakin uh it's an industrial orphan hunter is kind psychically dull he can't mine but look at his shooting skills and his animal skills guys and he does have the animal war call if we look at snow his animal skills are okay but they're not as good as this guy Probably was his yatakin. So he's not quite a cat, but he's got fur. There he is. Found him. <laughs> right, which one of our guys is the warden? That's Binks. Binks, capture him. Capture him. Let's get him back and get him treated as fast as we can. There we go. He's getting uh, treated by Binks. Good quality on that there. 70% on the gunshot. Brilliant. Let's hope we can uh, crack this one and make him a colonist just for now. Because I think with his animal skills... And he's not quite a cat, fair enough. But he, he has got fur, so... If we can convert him, I think he's going to make um, a good addition for now. So we are going to convert to our religion first and then once he's converted to our religion then we, we can recruit him to be a member. I mean we can do it the other way around but it's really not, not it doesn't work out too well because then you've got a colonist in your colony who's not the same religion and it just upsets everybody. So that is how we're going to do it. We have our first trader and he wants to buy our animals and uh, um no. <laughs> no 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 no! you can't buy them sir you cannot buy them but we have some components how much money do we have we have 520 silver how many can we buy for that Ooh, eight nine ten we can get ten components that should help us what the little bit of um steel walls we have on the map we should be able to build some things that we need like power power would be nice wouldn't it <laughs> and we've made a start on our outside granite wall with a little little sally port in there yak two has given birth awesome so we're going to get this side finished and then down this side finished and then we can work on getting the other two areas closed up we're going to leave it small for now I think that's just about right for what we need for now we can always extend it later so we just need a bit of protection and then after this is built we're going to think about building like um, a trap for incoming raids and stuff okay it looks like binks is about to recruit um our new guest let's see if you can do it shall we go on binks you're very charming i have all the faith in the world with you sir don't walk away from Binks when he's trying to talk to you. That's rude. Come on, Binks. You can do it. Tell him all about the colony, our inspirations, our ideas for the future. Come on, Binks. 
And there we go. We got a new recruit. Woohoo! Right, let's get him organized. Um, so yeah, we're gonna first of all change his name. Because we don't want that, do we? Um, uh, right. Okay, we're gonna name our first ever colonist after my wonderful moderator. Now, if you want me to change the name to your real name or whatever, I can do, but for now we're gonna call him Yeti. Here we go. And as I say, it's brilliant at animals. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock snow off hunting and handling. Actually, we keep them on four. And you are going to go straight onto there. So hopefully now snow will have a little bit more time to do some research because he's our research guy. And he's not had much time at all. So firefight, patient, bed rest on two. Or we'll keep at three for now. Basic at two. Yeah, smithing. We're going to turn all these off for the minute because we don't really need them. But crafting, we're going to have that onto one. Hauling at three. Cleaning on four. And fishing. We'll just leave those on four at the minute. Like that. Now we have to make sure everything else is done. Uh, work schedule. A rec schedule and a sleep schedule and the next thing we have to do is make sure that he's got herbal medicine and he can carry three just in case we need it out in the field so yeah he should be good to go uh, we can now turn these beds off uh, colonists and you can claim one of these beds sir and there we go we have our first colonist well, we need to get him a weapon. We've got a poor revolver, so that's going to have to do for now. He's not going to like using it, but until we get better equipment, then that's going to be an issue. But yeah, we now have a council role um, activated as well. That's something else we need to uh, think about. We need to make one of our guys into a counselor, because if we don't, they're going to be unhappy. And as you can see on the top here, their mood bars are already starting to slip because it says no counselor minus five for no counselor but the first thing we need to go and do <coughs> excuse me that came out of nowhere so it's all to do with the ideology um dlc we're just going to put one out here now it's the counselor you want somebody who's pretty good at social um and that to me uh binks He's looking like the guy. Yeah, definitely Binks. This is social zone at one. And we should be okay to go with the counsellor. So what we'll do is begin um, roll change. Binks, the counsellor. So guys, go ahead. I have no clue why Snow is wearing a medical mask. <laughs> it's like a surgical mask. I don't know where it's come from. We must have found it on the map. And there we go. We now have a counsellor. Just out of interest, who is our... Who's our leader? If Bix is the counsellor... We should be making uh, Snow into the Grand Grimclin, the leader. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. That's fine. It's not going to stop anything. So let's now get Snow to be a leader. I know we did that all ass first, guys. I completely did that all ass first. <laughs> supposed to do the leader first and i didn't realize we didn't have a leader um but that should have negated that now eight without a table unsightly environment yeah well we're going to change all that don't worry but all that is going to have to come in our next episode guys oh dear we got so much done this one though didn't we hey we certainly did so thanks ever so much for watching guys and i shall see you on the next one bye for now